بص Hello, can you hear me? Hello, guys. Yes, can yes you... I can hear you. Yeah, how are you doing? Good, okay, how are you? Fine, thank you. Yeah, um, since we are in, we can begin. Okay. So let me share my screen with you. One minute. All right. Um. Where is my classroom? My classroom. Okay, it's a classroom right here. All right, let me share our screen. Now, the, starting with the announcement. I'll start the announcement. You can see my announcement for, uh, for the week, which is week nine. Um. The readings, we are now going to be chapter six. So we'll continue chapter six, and um, which is normal distribution. And then um, the assignment, there's no assignment to do this week, no classwork, no homework, because I want to grade the ones that you completed already. This past two weeks have been a very busy week for me. I didn't have time even for myself. So I couldn't grade as I planned to. But now that um, that phase is over, um, I want to start grading all of them so that by next week I should be finishing grading some of them. I plan to finish them last weekend, but then, you know, you know how it's life happens. And I couldn't uh, grade them as I planned. So then this, uh, because of that, I want to put a pause, press the pause button on homework assignment for now, uh, for this week and next week. No assignment due this week. Next week, there's going to be one assignment due, the homework, but not classwork. So no classwork this week, no classwork next week. Okay? And that will also give you some time to recharge as well um now let us begin we are starting a new topic it's called continuous probability distribution uh otherwise the one we're gonna do is the one that we call normal distribution normal distribution um let me make sure you can see the screen very well Okay, I'm gonna make it system is good enough. Okay. okay, now um a lot of um continuous variables. Uh, when I say continuous variables, um I'm referring to those variables that we measure. We can measure them, things like height, temperature, cholesterol level, weight. Um all those variables. Do, that are continuous variables, many of them have distributions that are bell-shaped. That means they have distribution that when you plot them in a graph, they will give you a shape like this. See, it is shaped like a bell. So we call them normal distribution or bell-shaped distribution or the Gaussian distribution. So um, with that said, we can now define the normal distribution as a continuous, symmetric, bell-shaped distribution of a variable. Um, so um, we can use normal distribution to describe many variables because deviations from normal distribution um, are very small. Now, before I continue, I want you to Sure to show you something. Go to this. Uh, once you log, go to you to the models. After maybe after after the class, I scroll down to week nine. That's where we are now. Uh, even though I have a classwork here, but there's not there's nothing there, and I made it do immediate August to uh, October twenty first. That means 
nothing to do this week, nothing to do next week. Yeah. So don't, don't worry about it. But this table, download it and print it. Because from now on, we'll be using it. It's called a statistical table. I have a I have a copy here. Uh that I can show you how it looks like. Um okay, it's right here. Okay, let me see. So we'll be using it from now on, statistical tables. This is the for binomial. We are normal this is for normal distribution right here. See, table five. So yeah, it is made up. That table is has 12, uh, 10 pages. Print them, print it, and keep it handy. I also want you to um to print the procedure chart. We've got the procedure chart right here. Again, we'll be using this for the two of them. They go hand together. We'll be using it for this class. Okay. Um, now I can now go back to where we are. So um, you can see normal distribution. You can see the, the bell shaped. Now let's look at some of you see uh, more examples. The normal range of systolic blood pressure is usually 110 to 140 millimeter of mercury. Anything above that is not normal. If I would, if I if I if if it's above 140 millimeter of mercury, we say that their blood pressure is high. If it is below 110 millimeter of mercury, that means not good as, as well. Now, the normal interval for a person's triglycerides is from 30 milligram per deciliter to 200 milligram deciliter. So if it's, it's above that, not normal. If it's below that, not normal. So let's give you an idea of what normal distribution is talking about. The average bed weight for a human baby is approximately six pounds to nine pounds. So if a new baby that is born, is weighing more than um, nine pounds. We say that the baby is overweight. And if it's weighing less than six pounds, we say that it's underweight. Yeah. So now, at this point, we can now look at the small the properties of normal the distribution. Excuse me. The first property says a normal distribution curve is bell shaped. Shaped like a bell. You can see that it is shaped like a bell. Okay. Um, the second property says, um, the mean, median, mode are equal and are located at the center of the distribution. You can see the mean, median, mode. They are, they are located at the center. They are equal, and they are located at the center of the distribution. The normal, a normal distribution is unimodal. It has one mode. See, only one mode at the center. Yeah? Look at that. Uh, the curve is symmetric about the mean. Yeah, sure. It's, it is half of this. It's more half of this. You can literally throw this into that. Yeah. Um, The curve is continuous, and that is, there's no gaps. Yes, it's because it goes smoothly up, then slope down. No gaps. Yeah. Um this one is the um it says the curve touches the x axis. So the curve never touches the x axis. Yes, as you can see, it doesn't touch it. It gets closer but never touches it. So that is an asymptotic tail. Yeah. Now um next is uh the total area under the normal distribution curve is equal to 1, 1.0 or we can also call it 100%. So you see, half of this is 0. 0.5. The other half is 0. 0.5. So the total area equals 0. 0.5 plus 0. 0.5, which is 1.0 or 100%. Okay? So that, that is the properties. Of the normal description. Now, let us see how to calculate the area under the standard normal distribution. Calculating the area is the same as saying uh, to find the probability. So now let's look at the first one. Um, the first one is find the area under the standard normal curve, which lies A to the left of Z 1.76. 
it is the same as asking you to find the uh, probability. Anyway, let's do the first one. A. Um, I'm going to copy this A here because it's more vis visible right there. I want to say solution. Okay. Okay. Have A part of it. Okay. To the left of the 1.7. The first thing is to do is to draw the chart. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw the chart. Okay. So you have zero and 1.76. So I'm going to draw the chart now. Okay. Um, let me draw this chart. I have from here to this point, then through the curve, normal distribution curve. Okay. Then we can now put the center line, which presents the um mean mean. Okay. Then next is to this is 1.76. So you put a line that presents a 1.76. You know, for you, for you, you can draw this on the paper, you know. And then once you have that, and it says to the left of 1.76, the whole of this side is the left side of it. But let me uh, make sure I have it here. To the left. So now you can now share the, say you share the left side. You share the left side, okay? And share the left side. Now, can share it. That's this the area that is shaded to present to the left of one point seven six. Okay. All the shaded places represent that. I mean, it's all of this. Now, once you have that, you're looking for the area, right? You write your yeah, area equals. Now you go to the table. Now you go to the chart to see that now the procedural chart is right here. Now you see, uh, look, when you come to that chart, you look for the chart that looks exactly like the one I have on the, that, that, that one I, that, that, like the one I just drew. And see right here, this is what I drew right here. See? It must look exactly like it. And the chart that does that is this one here. So let's say what let's see what it says. It says, look at the z value to get the area, add 0.5 to it. See, look at the z value to get the area, add 0.5 to it. So now we can now go and put that. Put that. So we had to add 0.5. So we have, we'll have 0 0.5. Plus now, now we now we can now go to the table to, to look for this. Uh the table is located here. Okay. Let's see what it is located right here. Um you can see the table for normal distribution right here. So I'm gonna um share it with you. 1.76. You can see the Z right here. So you look for 1.7. See 1.7 right here. Okay. See, then you gotta go under six. 1.7. Don't go under six. You can see right here. Under six. See? Under six. 1.7. Under six. Under six. See the six right there. Six. And this is 1.7. And they say 0.4608. So um, you go and put it there, 0 0.4608, uh, 0 0.4608, 0 .4608. and that will give you the answer. When you want to add them, you get your answer. So let's add them. 
I'm going to write it down on paper, then we, and we, we can now put it on the calculator. 0 0.5000 plus 0 0.4600 Okay. Um the calculator, we are looking for it. Okay. Uh it's right over here. Okay, let me share it with you. That is the calculator right there. So zero point five zero 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 plus zero point four six zero eight. Give us 0 0.9608. So we are going to go and put it right there. 0 0.9608. 0 0.9608. Zero uh, and that's the area for that. Now, um, any question to this? Any question, guys? So yeah, I didn't go then. So let's try part second part, which is um to the right of z one point six, the same number but this time to the right of it. So I'm gonna copy this. Okay. To the right of it. So you have um part B. To the right of it, B. I'm looking for the area area equal so the first thing is to draw the chart again um you have zero 1.76 okay now you can um buy a chart Well, the x-axis, then, of course, the bear curve. Okay. So, make some adjustments. Okay. Then, you can now um put the center line. Center line to which present the mean, then uh, say to the right of it. So, this is the let put line for 1.76 is right here. You say to the right of it, I'm gonna uh, make an adjustment a little bit, it's right here. Okay. Then say to the right of it. So we share the right of it. Okay. Uh, share this right of it. All right. So, so you can see. When you share this place like this, we call it the tail. Call it the tail. Yeah. Um, we call it the tail. Let me put it right there. Okay. We call it the tail. And um, where is the tail? It's right here, the shaded part. This side is there. So we shall see. See now, once you have finished shedding, we can now go to the our chart. Okay. The chart, the procedural chart. Uh, which is uh, right here. We have procedural chart to see which of them is closer to what we just drew. Consider this one, this chart I'm here, part number two is closest. Looks like exactly what we drew. And what did this say? It says, um, in any tail, see? 
uh, in any tail. Look up the z value to get the area, subtract the area from 0. 0.5 so that we can now go and then um, subtract the answer to 0. 0.5. So you have, um, so you have 0. 0.5 minus, then we go and look for this 1.76 on the table. Okay. The table is right here. Let's see why table five. One point seven under six. I think I believe that's what it is. Let me double check. Um. Yeah, one point seven six. So you look at one point seven under six. See one point seven. Look at the Z. This is six right here. So one point seven. You gotta go under six. See, under six right here. Now this is one point seven. This is point four six zero eight. Three point four six zero eight. So at this time around, you are subtracting. Okay. Point five and zero point four six zero eight. Okay. Now um. In a calculator, you can we can do that in the calculator. Okay, the subtraction. I mean, so um, we have it here. Uh, the Desmos calculator. Let me share with you. So clear this zero point five. Uh, clear zero point five minus zero point. Uh, four six zero eight point zero three nine two. Write it. Let me write this down. Point four six zero eight, which is zero point zero three zero point zero three nine two. So let's go and put it here. Okay, zero point zero three nine two. See, that gives us the area we're looking for. Again, any um, any question on this? Okay, good. No question. Good. Now I want to show you something about this table. I want you to take a good look at this table. Um. This is the normal distribution table. There are two types of this table. For this class, we are using this. This one, it goes with the procedure chart. They go hand, they go hand in hand. There's another type of table, the one that you will see inside your homework. That one is cumulative type. I mean, if you know how to use it, fine, but you don't apply the rules for this one to that one. That one is a different rule. So if you use this rule here for that one, you're gonna fail the equation. So but if you know how to use that one, use it very use it properly. You get the same answer as somebody using this one. I recommend that you stick to this one. So long as you use it correctly, you will be fine. Okay. Now let's uh, since there's no question, let's look at the next the third question there, which is um between z negative zero point eight seven to z one point two eight. Let's solve that. Okay. We have okay, let's see here. Let's see, but C C between Z um negative 0.87 and Z 1.28. So again, the area to find the area, you gotta draw the charts. Let's see the, uh, that area equals now we need to draw the chart. We got zero. Oh, okay, no mistake. We have first one is negative zero point eight seven. Okay. We got zero. Okay, then we have one point two eight. And we're gonna uh put the curve. 
here. First of all, let's put the um x axis is this one here. Then you put a bell curve. Okay. Now you can put the center line. You say between them. So we're gonna make some adjustments here. Um we're gonna make some adjustments here. Matter of fact. Then um now I'm gonna put the lines at present negative zero point eight seven. Okay. One eight seven right here. Yeah. Okay. Then one point two eight is that is for this one here. Okay. Now, but now you say between them, say so to share this between them, the area, looking for the area between these two numbers. So that means you got to share between them. So you know the area you're looking for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, you're sharing between them. Okay. Um, All right. Um, okay, last but not least. Now you have done that. Now you go to the procedure chart to see the chart that looks exactly like this one. Um, the chart is right here. Um, okay. And procedure chart right there. So I'm gonna share it. Now, with this, you can discover that it is um, this one here, number four, that looks exactly like what I have. And what did number four say? Okay. Um, let me see, see right here. See how big it is. See, this one is, this is one that looks like this one. See? So uh, let's go and see what it says. It says here, look at the z value to get the areas, add the areas. So we get the areas and then we add them. That's what it's saying. Okay. Um, we have, um, okay. Now let's go back to the table now. And before we go back to the table, let us, let me write the, the numbers down so we can now go and read them on the table. The first number is, um, I think it is 0.87. Okay. Now, if you look at the table, there's no negative value there. Okay, there's no negative value. So this table doesn't have the negative because negative actually only tells you that it is on the left side. That's all. So here you're not gonna you're not gonna be looking for negative 0 0.87. You'll be looking for 0 0.87, not negative 0 0.87. So uh, for negative 0 0.87, I'll uh, have 0.8 under 7. 0.8 is right here. You go under 7. Okay. Right here. I'll make it bigger. Okay. Mm. 0.8. Let's see right here. So under 7. See, oh, I have six under seven right here. See, seven right there. And this is point eight under seven, point eight seven. So I got point zero point three zero, uh, zero point three zero seven eight plus please, because it says Adam. Now, next one to look for is uh, one point two eight. Going back, we have. 1.2 right here. Let's see right here. 1.2. You go under it. So right here. See, look at it right there. Under it. 
1.2 under 8. Okay, 0 0.3997. 0 0.3997. So let's go and put it in our work. So we have uh, for our negative 0 0.87, we got 0 0.3078. And for 1.28, we got 0 0.3997. I'll give you an answer. We have, um, okay. Let's put it in our answer. Okay, um, I think I have it here. So our calculator, uh, this most calculator will now help us to find that result. So zero point okay, three thirty something eight plus zero point three nine nine seven point seven zero seven five zero point seven zero seven five. We can put it right there. 0 0.7075. Okay? So that's how you do it. Area. So they can ask you to find the question. They can ask you to find the area. Or they can ask you to find the probability. Either way, that is the same process. Like the one I'm about, about to do now, it says normal distribution as a probability distribution. In this case, say, it said find the probabilities for each using the standard normal distribution. So it's the same thing as asking you to find the area. So that means that, that the, it, it is the same type of question, we, um, same thing we did a few minutes ago that they want you to do on this one. So I'm, we, we're going to solve only two of them since they are the same. Let me um, do num part um, A, 2.2A, uh, the solutions. Okay. You say find the area under this one. You have P. You say find the probability, right? P, P of, uh, see, let me put it right here. Okay. Mm. So have um, P zero less than Z less than 1.5. That means it's asking to find the probability for, for between zero for between z zero and z one point four five, so um, you put the equal sign here. Let's first of all, first thing is, so like I said, it is the same as the other one we did. That is the same thing. It's just that there they call it area. Here they call it probabilities. It's the same. First thing is to draw the chart. Draw the chart. Um, we got zero. We got one point four five. Okay. Now I can now put the bear curve. Wait. So you have um first of all, let's draw the uh the um x axis. Okay. Now I put the bear curve. Okay. Um Next is to put the center line. Let's put the center line here. Then say less, you say, you say between zero and 1.45. So it is between zero and 1.45. So let's see, let's put the line that represents 1.45, which is right here. Between zero and 1.45. So let's share it. And the one is right here. All right. Okay, last but not least. Okay. Now, after that, we can go to the procedures chart to find a chart that looks exactly like this one. Okay. Let's go and find it. 
we should do a chat. Okay. Um. Okay. Is it post? Okay. Let's see. Let's give a screen post share. Okay. Let me um. I'm trying to find the uh procedure chart. So this is procedure chart right here. Let me share it again. Um, procedure chart. So right there. So I'm gonna. This is what this one looks like. I say um, remember the, our own chart looks like this. So we're gonna find the chart that looks exactly like this from the procedure chart. So I'm gonna go here. You see that it is this one. I see right here. This one is between zero and Z. Okay, let's see what it says. It says between zero and Z. Look at the Z value to find the area. Just look at the Z value to find the area. That's what it said for this type of uh, drawing. So we have um uh, drawing. It says look at the Z value. So our uh, Z is 1.45. Okay. Okay, um okay, let's see. Um uh, well, I'm gonna look at sharing passport okay. here. Right, let's look at this so chart right here. I don't know where this comes from. <laughs> so this is this our work here is um 1.45. It's 1.45 right here. Okay. Um let's look for look for this on the table. Because that one says if it is in this shape, just look at the z value to the, in the table to get the area. So you just go and find the z value. So let's see. Um, what I reduce this. And table one point four five. Okay. One point four five. I don't know why this is showing up. Post only. Okay, now um, 1.45, I believe it is. I will check in. Um, okay, let me see. All right, let's share it again. Yeah, 1.45 right here. So we just look for it and find to find the area. 1.4 under five. See 1.4. I'm gonna make it um. So 1.4 is right here, but you're gonna go under five. It's five right there. Okay, 0.42, 1.4 under five, 0 0.4265, 0 0.4265. Well, 1. 1.4 uh, under five, this is five right here, is 0.4265. Okay, 1.4. 0.4265. Um, any question to this? Okay, no question. Good. So maybe let, let, let's be, maybe we can try another one because, like I said, the easy some of the other the one that we solved before. It's right here. Let's try another one. Let's try this type. Or maybe this type. Let's try this type first of all. So 1.65. Maybe two examples here. Okay. Let's try this one. Okay. Solution for this. Part, part what is that? It's part B. Yeah, B. Okay, B. 1.65. In that case, we can... um. As usual, the first thing to do is to uh, draw this chart. It's going to be equals that zero one point negative one point six five. Excuse me, one point six five zero. So now we can now um make create our chart. Okay. All right, we have to here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, should be here. Oh, dear. Okay. 1.65. 1.65. 
So next is to put the bell curve. Okay. Then um, next is to now have a bell curve. Now you can put the center line. Should be right here. So let's move up a little bit. All right. Now next will be to put the line that represents one point negative negative one point six five. Negative one point six five is right here. And it says shed um is it less than this less than symbol means to the left. Share the left side. So that um share this side. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, that's what we got. The left. Now, after drawing it, we look for the chart, the procedure table, to see the chart that looks exactly like that one. This is a procedure table right here. Let me share it with you. So I'll make it bigger. I see that this one here. Um, uh, that's chart. So here, looks like like it. But what did this say? It says um, look up the z value to get the area. Subtract the area from point five. So we have uh. From point five, two point five, okay, minus. Now let me look for negative one point six five on the table. Now remember, I told you that negative. If you're using this table that I'm using for this class, negative sign it only means that number is on the, the value is on the left side. That's all. So that when you go to the table, you are looking for 1.65, not for negative 1.65. Uh, the one you have in your homework, the table you have in your homework may have may have a chart for negative values. Uh, this one doesn't have that. So like I said, stick to this one, you'll be fine. 1.65, and uh, when you go there, we're looking for um table 1.65, I believe. <clears throat> Let's see. 1.65, okay. That's it. Um, 1.6 under 5. See, 1.6 right here, but you got to go under 5. See, under 5 right here. 1.6 right here. So, um, so 1.6 under 5 is 0. 0.4505. Zero point four five zero five, and it says to subtract it from point five, okay. And point five minus zero point four five zero five. Now give you answer. So let's um write it down. Uh, point five zero point five zero minus zero point four five zero five. So we'll go and put it, write it down. All right. Oh, excuse me. Let's go and put it in. 0.5 and 0 0.450. Then we can now we can use the calculator to get it. 0 0.500. Minus 0. Point Four five zero five. I got zero point four, zero point zero four nine, zero point zero forty nine, five. And calculator, see, point five, zero point five zero zero. Minus zero point 
4505. Okay. You can see this, right? Yep. 0.495, I got. So I'm going to put it right here. Uh, 0 0.0495. And that's how you solve it. Um, so um, next one is to solve another example. Last example, I'm going to solve this type. Yeah. And then you can, you know, the rest of that you can practice. Like I say it's the same process, the same procedure. At E. Same procedure, but E. Okay. But E. E says. To draw to um find the probability of this. It means to find the probability that of between negative 0 0.46 to negative 2.97. Again, you begin by drawing the table negative two point one point four six here. Okay. You got um negative as a matter of fact, two two come before four, right? Um, two come before one. So this have a negative two point seven nine seven negative zero point oh negative one point four, six, before it gets zero. <laughs> okay. Move it down a little bit. So I'm gonna bring this to closer a little bit. Okay, for zero. Now we can now um put our chat sign. You draw the chart. I draw the um uh, x axis first, then it's chart. Okay. Need to bring this back a little bit. Now, um, of course, you know the center line have to be here. Let me make this a little bit smaller so that it will contain this. Make it um, 14 or even 16. 16 is good enough. Okay, the center line is right here. Maybe, maybe I should make this a little bit, spread it a little bit. Okay, so you can see the difference. Yeah, let me spread it a little bit. Insert uh, this. Okay, that'll be, that'll make it better. I hope so. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm gonna mute it. So I'm gonna do another one. I should get it right this time. Okay. Oh, what? Well, yep, this is better. Then you can now have your center line here. Okay, good. Okay. Now we have um. Yeah, you you when you're doing this by yourself, you're gonna use pen and pencil, so it will be easier for you to draw it. I got a center line. Center line, that is right here. Okay, I'll move it a little bit. Then we have our. The line that present negative 0 2.797 and the line that presents with 1.46. Now looking for their eight probability that means we're gonna shed those two. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. Then this one here. 
Okay. Now we have drawn it. So it looks like the next thing is to look for the uh, chart, procedure chart that looks like that, this one. I want to go to the procedure chart and you can see that um, this type, this one, this number of, uh, three it looks like that. See? So on the left side, it's like this. And this is it. Look up this. Uh, let's see what it says. It says between two z values on the same side of the mean, look up the z value to get the area, subtract the smaller area from the larger area. Subtract the smaller area from the larger area. So that means um, we go to the table to look for what we are looking for for the um the our work. Our answer. What we get was I have on the chart is okay, negative 2.97. Let me write them down. It is 2.97 and negative 1.46. 1.46, 1.46. So you can see that this one is bigger. I mean, in absolute absolute value. I mean, as a real number, this one is smaller, but as an absolute value, this is bigger. Um, two point nine seven. So we're gonna look for that first. Two point nine seven. We got two point nine under seven. So I make it a little bit bigger. So you can have um, two point nine right here. Here we go under seven. Okay, this is it. Yep, right here, seven. So 2.9, 2 2.9, 2 7. 0 0.4985. 0 0.4985 minus, we save to minus it. Let's go and put it here. 0 0.4985 minus, then let's find one negative 1.46. Is it 1.46? Let me get it 1.4. Let's do it for 1.4. You go under 6. It's 6. We need to sell under 6. Okay, two point. Um, let me look at it again. Two point. Okay, one point four six. One point four six. Okay, one point four six. One point four. You go under six. Uh, one point four six. Point four two seven nine. Two point four two seven nine. 1.4271.4 under 6. 0.4279. Okay. Um, 0 0.4279. Now let me double check the first one again, which is 2.97. Okay. 2.9. 2.9. Go under 7. Yep, so uh, 0.4985. Point four, okay, we got it right. Now, let's subtract this. Let's see what we're gonna get. Let's subtract this. Okay. We're gonna subtract this. Clear this, we have 0.4985. Um, okay, 0.4279. Click that 0 0.0706. Okay, 0 0.0706. So that's our answer. 0 0.0706. 0 0.0706. Um, any question to this? Any question? OK. 
Okay, excellent. Now, um, so like I said, you can try some of them by yourself. I've, I've shown you two ways, uh, this, the, the way, the two ways they can ask the question, or I can ask this question. Now let's do the opposite. Now how to do the opposite. Like here, it says, um, finding specific Z value for a given area. This one you are doing, you have the, you are, the one we just did, they gave us the Z value well, for Z. Z, Z, and they want us to find the probability or the area. But in this case, they give us the area and they want to, or the probability, and they want us to find the Z value. How do we do that? Um, let's try um, some examples here. All right, see, so number three says, um, find the Z value so that the area under the uh, normal distribution curve lies between zero and Z, um, and, the, and the area is 0.2123, okay? Uh, solution, they did not tell the direction uh, of this. That means it can be in either, di either direction, it can be on the left side, the area can be Z, but can be on the left or the right. Let's assume that it's at the right side, okay? In that case, um. We are given the uh, Z, um, the area equals 0 0.2123. Uh, let's add that it's on the right side, okay? Let's, let's add that it's on the right side, okay? Now, um, we can say um, the Z value, the Z value becomes, uh, so just z equals to so do that we draw the curve as you just draw the curve so you have zero z we don't know what it is okay um we can now um go and get the oh you know what let's just draw it draw the curve Okay, what the uh, x axis, and then we put it uh, this curve. Okay, we want to make some adjustment. Okay. Now, like I said, we assume, we assume that it's on the right side. Um, okay. So we can now put the um, center line that represents the mean. Okay. Then this Z, the right. So between zero, this is like it's a between lines, it's a lines, it says here, um lies between zero and z. Between zero and z. So that means it is two. So I can share it. Share between the two. That means this is the area we are looking for right there. Or the probability we are looking for. So or the z value we are looking for. But this is the probability for it. Okay. All right. Okay. One more. What is the area we are looking for? We say between Z and zero. So that the required um Z will now become now. We do the opposite. We go inside the table. We start looking for this point two one two three. Let me write it down. Point two one two three. 0 0.2123, okay, 0 0.2123, we can look for it uh, from here, from the table, uh, okay, I think I click on it, this is the table right here, so let me share it again, let's see it, now we're looking for uh, what, we're looking for 
0 0.2123. This time around, we are looking inside the table, 0 0.2123. 0 0.2, I say 0 0.2123, three, two, one, I found it here, okay? Now, if you don't find the number, exact, the exact, exact number, use the number that is closest to it, yeah? 0 0.2123, two, then follow it to the left, see 0.5, then follow it up, 6. So 0 0.56 is the Z, 0 0.5, 6.56, 0 0.56, uh, 0 0.56, see 0 0.56, okay, what we, what we got, Z is 0 0.56, 2, 1, 2, 3, 0 0.5 under 6, so um, Z is 0 0.56, okay, any question to that? You keep uh, playing this. So you got a 0 0.56 because of the graph? No, inside, you look inside it, uh, this is the Z we're looking for, this uh, Z value. Mm -hmm. So this one, you look, you look for the 0 0.2123 inside the graph. Gotcha. OK. Yeah. See, look, 0 0.2123 0 0.2 right here. Can you see it? I can see it, yeah. If you follow it to the left, you see 0 0.5 mm -hmm. right here. And if you follow it up, see 0 0.06, so I mean 0 0.56. Yeah, that's how we got it. Now, if this is on the right side, if this this is on the right side, that means you gotta be negative 0 0.56. Um, if, it's on, if it's on the left side, uh, we assume that it's on the right side. And uh, let's try another one. Um, this one says, um, find the Z value. Say so find the z value to the left. Say so find the z value to the left of the mean. See? Find the z value to the left of the mean such that the area under the standard normal curve from z value from the z value is 0 0.3460. Uh, so find the area to the left. You say to the left, that means it's gonna be a negative, a negative number. So let's do the solution. So you have, remember the area, the area was said to be area equals 0 0.3460. So let's, the Z, Z is what we are looking, Z value, we are looking, we are looking for the Z, Z equals, we don't know, right? So we make the chart. Let us make the chart right here. We say to the left, that means it's gonna be negative Z. I mean, Z, we say, that's the proper Z here. Uh, put zero. Okay, now we can make our chart. You can put it inside the uh, x axis. Okay. And then put the bell curve. Then um, next is to put the center line. Then Z is on the left side. Okay. Put the line that represents Z. Okay. Okay. On the left side. See, because it's on the left side, the answer will be, it will be a negative answer. So let's just share it first. Okay. And this. And that. <laughs> See? Um, so we have this. Um, so next we be to um, get our Z. I say it's on the left side, so it's gonna be a negative number. So I'm gonna put negative here. Um, we now go to the table and start looking for 0 0.3460. Let me see, 0 0.3460. Now, if you don't find it, we we'll look for a number that is closest to it, 0 0.3460. Um, so let's do it, okay? Let's do it right here. This is the table right here. 
I found three four six one. Next one I saw three four three four three eight is far away from three four six zero. Three four eight five is five. This is the one. This is the closest to three four six zero. Because it's only one, it's only one point away. So we flow it to the left. One point zero. Up two. One point zero two. So the answer is one point zero two. 1.02 now because it's on the left side um it could be a negative 1.02 so z okay any question okay no question good but let, let's look at another one there's some sometimes they might ask you in this form um ask you in this form say find the z value to the left of the mean, such that 98.87% of the area under the normal curve, under the, norm, under the normal, under the description, normal description curve lies to the right of it. So find the z value to the left. See? I read the question very well. Take care of note, key, key, key point there. Find the z value to the left of the mean. It's on the left side. That means it's going to be a negative z value. Okay? Um, so that 98.87% uh, of the area under the description curve lies to the right of it. So the area here is given as 98.87%. And when, we, when you change this to decimal, you have 0 0.9887, okay? Um, so now, to the Z value, I'm looking for Z, we don't know. Again, so the first thing is, let me bring this one down so we can have enough room for it. So we can have enough room. So we have um, Z, we don't know Z. So we're gonna uh, come here and draw the chart. Z. Now oh, you can call it negative. Some people call it negative Z because it's on the left side. So we put our chart. Uh, the S as is first. Then we have our bear curve. Then you know, of course, um. Maybe that it's in. You gotta um put the center line. Okay. Then of course adjust this. Then it said uh to the left. So see it's on the left side. So I'm gonna put the line that presents the Z. But it says to the left, here, here it says, okay. Now, here it says, uh, to the left of the mean, so that 98.87% of the area under the normal curve lies to the right. See, unlike this one where it says, uh, find the Z value uh, to the left of the mean, so that the area under the normal curve from the Z value is this. Um. Okay. Now, um, yeah, I see is point three four five. Okay, maybe I. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I think we are we are we are here. We look for this. It's the area they give us. So the area under the mark cup from the zebra is this. Okay. Now here, but it says here, so that ninety eight. 0.87% of the area under the normal curve lies to the right. Lies to the right of it. Let me, let me, let me emphasize it very well. Lies to the right. See, 
lies to the right of it. See? Okay. Uh, now, um, let's plus. So now we say this the zipper is on the right, left side, but the area is like is on the le left side. So in that case, we can we share the um we share this side. We share the, all this because this area this area lies to the right of it. Okay. The zipper is on the left on the right, right left side, but the area is on the right, right side. So um Yeah. Um, good. So this is very well. See, yeah, how you're looking to look like. Um, we are going to make adjustment to this one because it says so. So the area said so find the zebra to the left. So the, we we, sh we share the wrong place here. We're gonna share, this is place we're going to supposed to shed here. This one here, but we will come back to that. Now let us um fix this problem. So now finish this one. We have this. Now let's look for point nine eight eight seven on this chart. Okay, you go to this chart and for point we don't have point nine eight eight seven here because the highest the highest number we have here is point four nine nine nine. So what you're gonna do is to um remember when it is in this form. If you remember from the chart from the um from the procedure table when it is in that form. Uh, when the shape is in that form, we look for the say we look at the z value, and then add the area. So look, add 0.5 to it. I mean to say, say look, this one looks like that. Look at the z value to get it from to get the area, then add 0.5 to it. Now, since we are doing the opposite, we're gonna subtract 0.5 instead of adding 0.5. Okay. So um, this brings us to back to our table. So you're gonna do um. Uh, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0, 0, 0, which um, which give us uh, 0 0.9887 minus 0 0.5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. that will give us point. Uh, let's see, write it down 0 0.9887 minus 0 0.5000. Let's go and do it on the calculator. Our calculator is right here. This most I'm gonna share with it to you. This one here. So we got 0 0.9887 minus 0 0.5. So we have 0 0.4887. 0 0.4887. Okay. Ah, uh, point four eight eight seven right here, right there. Zero point four eight eight seven. So this is this is what we're gonna look inside the chart. Point four eight eight instead of point nine eight eight seven. Point four eight eight seven is what we'll be looking inside this chart. So um, we're gonna look at the table again. Look for point four eight eight seven. Let me share it with you. Point four eight. Yep, we are we're lucky. It's right here. You follow it on the left. Two point two. You follow it up. Eight. See. Two point two right here. Up. Eight, two point two eight. So we got two point two eight. Two point two eight. Eight. Now it's on the left side. So the zero is on the left. Side, so you're gonna put negative. Two point two eight. Just answer. Um, any question on this? No. Okay, now let's, let's correct this one. The answer is correct, just that the chart we're gonna uh share, share the right place. Let's share the right place. We, sh we share the wrong place, um, on this one. So let us share the right place. That's all. Okay, so I said find the zebra to the left. See on the left side, 
such that the area under the normal distribution curve is z for uh, if from the zebra is uh point three four six zero. So you gotta be um between zero and this. Okay. Uh point three four six zero. So you gotta be here, I believe you're gonna be here. There's a, a way I want to share it. Let me see if I can share it like that, like this. Let me, let me use this to share it. See if it works. Now this one is faster. <laughs> oh, okay. So this this way we're supposed to share. It. That's better. Um, any question, guys? No questions. So um, I think um, uh, let's see how much what how, what we have left. Yeah. Okay, we have this central limit theorem. Yeah. Um. I think we will stop here tonight. Um, we'll come back next week. We finish it up. We do uh have the the applications. We we'll start from the standard normal distribution and then do the applications, and that will be end the normal distribution. Uh, don't, don't go yet. Let me check your names. Um, I have some names here already. So um, let me take the other ones. I got daily here. Uh, Jasmine, I have Jasmine. Brooks, I have Brooks. I got Eric. McCoy, I got McCoy. Peacock. I got Peacock. Um, Pullman. Floyd. This me. Um, Sakia. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, can you? Gross. That gross. Harris. That Harris. Okay, yes, okay. I got everybody. Can okay, I see you guys next week? Enjoy your week. Thank you. Have a good week. You too. Bye bye.